Let's take a quick look at how uh, gain works within Reason. I recently had someone leave a comment asking a question about gain, and this individual is using a USB mic that doesn't have gain control on it, and he's wondering where you can work with gain within Reason. Well, you can work with gain in the mixer. If I F5, and actually I'll F3 and get the browser out of the way, then I'll F5, gain control, is here at the very top of the mixer. So that's where you're going to access the game at. But before we get to that, it's it's important to note that I'll F7 and bring up the sequencer. Unfortunately, that's not really going to help you out if you'd like to, say, boost or cut whatever you'd like to do with the input going in. Your audio interface or your USB mic in this individual situation whatever it's sending out is what you're going to record in the box and in reason so what I've done is just to make this visually clear I've recorded several clips using my audio interface I'm recording my voice into the microphone I've got my gain set the exact same the whole time on my audio interface for each of these clips but with each one you can see that I've labeled them differently because with the first one I'll um, F6 and F7 to bring up the rack and the sequencer. This first one I've got, because there are several different places where you can set your levels within reason. Now, the audio track is currently set to 0 dB. Oh, okay, that's, I recorded my vocal here at Z, 0 dB. I then raised this level up to 8.06 which is the second clip you can see by the waveform there is no change um, I'll control click to put that back now this next one minus 18 DB mixer gain if I F7 F5 and let's scroll to the top of the mixer and take a look at the gain what I did was turn that down to minus 18 you can see there's still no adjustment I then push the gain up 18 that's plus 18 DB still no change so and that's it while we're talking about that just quickly you know you have plus or minus 18 DB of gain when you are using this and whenever you uh, move from the 0 DB default position notice this lead will activate so if I control click and put that back the lead is off this will also illuminate if I invert the phase for the incoming signal. And also note that if you're going to use the gain or whenever you're working with it, you can hold down shift and make more precise movements with that. And just control click to put it back to the default 0 dB. So let's move on here and next one other area that if you are using a USB mic for instance that does not have gain control this is these next ones one other option you can try is by right clicking on your audio device if you're using Windows the icon here for your audio controls uh, you can go into your core audio settings in the Mac as well but we'll right click here and let's choose recording devices you see we're on the recording tab you look for the green check which one is active my scarlet solo is at this time and then you choose properties and then we go to the levels tab and you can see you have an adjustment here that you can move up or down now I recorded at a hundred and I also recorded at a zero I'm canceling out and you can see device at zero device at a hundred but for me there is no difference uh, in the signal going in so I just wanted to show you these clips to make it very clear that um, whatever you're sending into the box and in reason is kind of what you're stuck with so after you've got everything recorded then you can use your gain to boost the signal but you know depending on the quality of your audio device you may have noise in there so it's really that's why it's so important that you get the correct balance of uh, a solid audio signal going in with um, you want a signal that's going to 
I've not introduced noise, but that's also not going to clip. Um, so around minus or minus 10 or 12 dB, if I select the audio track here and control F3, we can bring up our big recording meter. So around minus 12, minus 10 dB is a good signal to try to get in. And again, if you're using a USB mic and you just can't get a good, a strong signal and it's all the way down to 40, that you're going to have that with cheaper mics. And unfortunately, you can record at minus 40, minus 50. And then when you try to bump that up, you're probably going to introduce noise. Maybe you won't, hopefully you won't, but, you know, unfortunately you're just kind of stuck with it with whatever you've got coming in. So I'll control F3 and get rid of that. Now when we want to work with gain though in the mixer is when we're gain staging and preparing for a mix. And we can just go over, let's start actually with I'll F7, F6 to bring up the rack and I'll play back some of these recordings. Mic check, one, two, three. Mic check. So you can see one, we can two, adjust the level here testing. in the audio one, two, track. Three. Mic check, one, two, three. Mic I'll check. control click one, to return two, that back. Mic check, one, F7 two, and F5 three. to bring one, up two, the three. mixer. Mic check. Now one, we can two, adjust three. our gain here. Mic check, one, two, three. Mic check one two three. Check one two three. Mic check. Test one two three. Mic. Okay, so you can see that these level controls are essentially for whatever you've got recorded in the sequencer, um, and not what you're recording in from your interface or your USB mic. So I hope that that makes sense and everything is clear here and. Um, yeah, if you're going to be purchasing an audio interface, I'd just, with whatever DAW you're using, I would always recommend choosing something that does have a gain control. And uh, you want to be sure if you're going to be working on music, if you're going to be creating, you know, and putting your time and effort into this, it's really important to choose a device that's um, going to be of high quality and have a low noise floor. Um, of course, that's not always within our budget, you know. But if you if you can do that, it, and it doesn't take much, the my Focusrite Scarlet Solo is only a hundred dollars, and it's a pretty decent device for recording. So that's working with gain with audio in Reason. Thanks for watching.